Hi, I'm Dr. Harrison. Welcome to my hobby. I'm not a teacher, I'm a pathologist. Now, if you haven't met a pathologist before, we're sort of a doctor's doctor behind the scenes. I work in a hospital laboratory, I diagnose cancer, and I do dissection with a scalpel and forceps every single day. So this is a perfect hobby for a pathologist who loves animals. Dry Lab Fetal Pig is my favorite mammal dissection software. I don't own stock in this company and nobody pays me to say that. It works like this. If we pass the cursor over a structure, it highlights, and if we click... Ear, auricle, pinna... We'll hear the name... Nose, snout, elbow, wrist. We get a good look at the entire pig. Here's a butt shot of a little girl piglet from behind. This anus. is That's obvious, but the female pig has a second opening below the anus. Urogenital sinus. And below that is a little tag of tissue called... Genital papilla. We'll come back and see that again in a moment. But next, come look at my favorite view in this program. This is an amazing view. Now, the pig is on her back and her head's up here, her tail is down here. This is the liver that has some injected blue latex. Liver, spleen. Look at the spleen. It's red and purple and shiny as compared to the pancreas, which looks very different. It's pale tan and faintly nodular. They're supposed to look different. Any pathologist will tell you that fresh organs have different color and shape, and you can almost feel a difference in texture in this image. If we fix tissues in formalin, everything gets gray and squishy. Pretty soon it all starts to look alike. I love this page in Dry Lab Fetal Pig because all of the organs are so different from one another. Kidney. Here's the kidney. Small intestine, large intestine, colon. We'll see another look at that in this next page. And here we are, the heart and lungs have been removed. Esophagus. And the diaphragm is gone. The liver and pancre the pancreas and spleen are gone. Liver. Here's what's left of the liver and the stomach. Stomach, small intestine. And look at this. Pig. Large intestine, this colon. Pig colon is wrapped up in a tight little spiral. It's actually cute. We'll get a better look at it in this movie. Pause the movie if needed to identify the stomach, the duodenum, the spleen, the large and small intestines, the pancreas, a piece of the rectum, and a snippet of the esophagus. So we can click and drag this cursor to see everything. Here's the stomach. Notice how large the spleen is. It wraps around two-thirds of the abdominal cavity. Here's the pancreas from behind. And here's that adorable spiral colon. Okay. Let's take a look somewhere else, down in the pelvis of the spleen. The female pelvis is actually a very complicated place. There's lots going on. Now this is her umbilical cord, so her head's up here, and this is her tail. Look at all the structures that are labeled in the female pelvis. It can be a little daunting. I start off with the big things that are most recognizable. If this is the umbilical cord, then this must be... Bladder, urinary bladder. And these are the paired umbilical arteries on either side. I recognize poop when I see it. Rectum. And these are the paired kidneys. This is the female reproductive tract, so this knob is the ovary. ovary. Now to a human doctor, this tubular structure next to the ovary looks like the fallopian tube, but... Uterine horn, horn of uterus. This is a pig. And if we look down here, it gets really complicated. So, the developers of this software have come up with an ingenious idea. They took out the female reproductive tract on block, meaning in one piece. Now we can study it in isolation without all of the other structures confusing us. Ovary. Here's the other ovary. This is the fallopian tube. Oviduct, fallopian tube. And this is the uterine horn. Uterine horn, horn of uterus. So the pig has a bicornuate or a forked uterus. She can have three or four piglets on this horn and three or four piglets in this horn. Here's the rest of the uterus. uterus. This swelling is the cervix where humans get pap smears. Here's the vagina. And next to it is? Urethra. So the urethra and the vagina fuse to form? Urogenital sinus. Which is that second opening we saw below the anus on the butt shot of a female pig. And next to the urogenital sinus is this little tag of tissue. Genital papilla. 
So now that we've studied it this way, we can put this back into the whole female pelvis. Here's the bladder, the paired umbilical arteries, and the rectum. Ovary. Now this is the fallopian tube. Oviduct, fallopian tube. Uterine horn, and horn of uterus. Here's the pig's uterus. If we follow this over, it's continuous with? Uterus. The rest of her uterus. And alongside that? Urethra. The urethra and the uterus vagina fuse to form. Urogenital sinus. Which was the second opening below the anus. And then our little friend, that tag of tissue. Genital papilla. It's a wonderful way to study a very complicated structure and we can repeat over and over. So you've just seen a quick six minute tour of a much larger program. Dry Lab Plus Fetal Pig is my favorite mammal software because the tissue is fresh, it's not fixed. The dissections are superbly performed and the photography is beautiful.